Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to cover the snatch. I'm Chris, I'm going to do the explaining part and with me I have Sam who's going to do the demonstration. With the snatch it's a pretty similar movement to the clean. So if you haven't watched our power clean tutorial then I would suggest to watch the tutorial first because all of the positions we will cover in this tutorial will be pretty similar, but we will kind of rush through them now. So we have more time explaining other things that are very unique for the snatch. With the snatch, we have a lot of different variations for CrossFit. So having an efficient movement pattern with the snatch is very useful um, because we're going to do hang power snatches. We're going to do power, uh, squat snatches. We're, have to bring the barber from the floor to overhead in one fluid motion in a couple of instances when we perform crossfit workouts or just do the lifting in itself. For the power snatch, as I said, we have basically the same positions as for the clean. So we start with the starting position. It looks a, di a bit different to the clean starting position because we have a wide grip. To determine grip width, we usually pick up the barbell, place it in our hips because we want it to have it right underneath our anterior iliac spine, which is right here, and above our pubic bone. To figure this out, you can lift one leg, have your arms, have your arms straight and grab it with uh, with arms straight right in your hip crease. You could also like bend over a bit and put it in your hip and then when you can straighten your arms you basically have your personalized grip width. Okay, put it back up. When you have your grip width set we going to explain the points of performance for the starting position. Enter the starting position. As I said it's pretty similar as for the clean. We have the weight on our toes, our arms are nice and extended, our shoulders are slightly in front of the bar, the hips are higher than the knees and the shoulders are higher than the hips with our upper back engaged and our gaze is always straight in front. Okay, relax. When we have our starting position dialed in, we're going to do the lift off or the snatch first pull where we push with our legs and bring the bar right into the hang position, which is going to be demonstrated right now. One very important thing you always want to imagine is that you always want to stay over the bar, which means we have to have our shoulders in front of the bar the entire time when look from the side and we always want to push and drive with the legs. It's a bit counterintuitive that we call this movement the first pull sometimes because it's rather a push. You, you should always think of it as a squat where you push the floor away with your legs. The next posi position you just, you've just seen with the hang position, Sam is going to enter it right now. Now we don't have our weight where the toes are, it's more on the heels, the bar is right above our knees, our hips are still higher than our legs and our shins are vertical to the floor again. When viewed from the side, our shoulders are in front of the barbell and our upper back is nice and engaged with our gaze right in front. Okay, and relax, thank you. The last position, as for the clean, is the power position where we have the bar in our hips. Sam is going to enter it now and I'm going to explain a couple of things there. With the power position we have bent legs, straight arms, engaged shoulders and upper backs, gaze is right in front and we have contact with the barbell in the hips which is very important because here our last explosion for all the upward momentum is happening that we need for the power snatch. Thank you and relax. When we completed the power snatch, we always end up in the receiving position. 
And this is the position we want to spend some more time and do some more explaining of where the shoulders, wrists and elbows and the rest of the body needs to be. So Sam is going to enter the receiving position by performing a power snatch now. And hold it right there. What you can see is that the legs are slightly bent, the hips are stable by pushing the knees out, the chest is upright, the shoulders are nice and engaged by pulling the shoulder blades back and pressing up with the arms. By pulling the shoulder blades back, you create a stable platform from your scapula, like your shoulder blades, and we always want nice and engaged arms and triceps. Okay, and relax. Sam is going to enter the receiving position now a second time. And now we don't focus on the shoulders, but on the head position. To have the most advantageous head position, we always want to push our head slightly, slightly forward by creating a more stable position at the shoulder joint. Also, we want to have our ribs down by engaging the abs and bracing our core. Okay, and relax. Similarly, as with the clean, when we do the power snatch, most, happen, most errors happen when we separate the barbell from the floor. So by decreasing our movement speed, we can perform a proper power, power snatch um, if we're not used to the speed component at first. So what, what Sam is going to do now is performing a slow pull power snatch where he's moving the barbell slowly from the floor and now he's accelerating. Okay, and one more. By moving slowly in the beginning, he makes himself less prone to making errors. So he has more control, he can correct his movement, he can correct his positioning. If he notices uh, a fault in his movement pattern, he can go back down and complete the movement pattern again. Now we're going to cover the most common errors for the power snatch we see. Obviously, as with the clean, a lot of things can go wrong when performing a snatch, but we're going to stick to three most common, the most common ones. The first one is a wrong starting position with the hips either too low or with the hips too high. To have the hips in the right position, you just want to have your hips slightly above your knees and your shoulders even higher than your hips. When viewed from the side or from the top, the barbell usually is where your toes begin. So it's very close to your shin and you have good balance and it has to be uncomfortable. If you're comfortable in this position, you're probably doing something wrong. Okay, and relax. And always remember, a correct starting position always sets you up for a proper clean with correct technique. The second most common error we see is improper timing with pulling too early with the arms or pressing out the arms overhead. The pulling too early also uh, results in using the arms and shoulders too much instead of using the legs. Sam is going to demonstrate and do one more. Okay. So as you could see, we, have, we haven't had an explosive part in the movement pattern, which is always a fault with like weightlifting movements, which are explosive in nature itself. The second timing error would be a press out overhead. The press out is going to be demonstrated now. We sometimes also call it like a hybrid snatch, which is like a hybrid of like a muscle snatch and a power snatch. Okay, thank you. To correct those errors, we usually recommend performing the slow pull power snatch we just demonstrated earlier, because there you can really focus on the correct timing. For example, letting your arms long and your upper back engaged when performing the pull from the floor and wait until you're in the right position to accelerate with the hips and legs and not pull with the arms too early. 
For correcting the press out, there's another drill we like to do, which is a behind the neck push jerk, because it teaches you moving under the bar quickly and explosively while extending your arms violently. Sam is going to demonstrate. He's bringing the bar into the overhead position. This can also be performed out of the rack. And then he's lowered, he's going to lower it to his shoulders, like in the back squat. And he's using his snatch grip width with his elbows right below the bubble. This is very important when viewed from the side. Your elbows have to be right below because we want to push straight up and don't want to press the bar away from us. Now he's basically doing a power jerk from behind the neck and this is going to teach him the right timing and movement patterns required for the snatch. Do two more. Okay, and one more. Aggressively punch up in the air. Okay, thank you and relax. As I said, another very useful drill for correcting the snatch if you find yourself having a press out with every snatch and this will make your movement patterns more efficient. Now we've, we've covered everything we wanted to show you for the power snatch. Obviously, there are a lot of more things to cover when it comes to hang snatches, full snatches, squat snatches and overhead squats. And there also are high mobility demands for the snatch. And those are all things we need to cover in other video videos. So stay tuned for future tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.